everyone, it's Kat from Meet Feel the Living, and I wanted to come on and just do a very quick intro to the video that is about to happen. Um, and yes, um, my sad face is swollen, I, and, uh, I might be allergic to something or having a reaction to something, so my eye is kind of swollen and watering and itchy, so bear with that. Um, but anyways, I wanted to do this really quick intro because... The camera is going constantly in and out of focus. I don't know why it was struggling this time. I do need to get a new camera. It's just not in the budget right now. So between it going in and out of focus constantly and the fact that I was incredibly hyped up on coffee and bebopping around the whole time, I didn't seem to be able to sit still, much more so than what I normally am because you may notice I am typically very animated all the time. But because of those things, it might make the video a little bit irritating. So I'm really hoping that you'll give me a little bit of grace on this video. I did consider trying to refilm it, only I could not because I filmed all of this and showed you everything I bought. And then I went ahead and cut it all up and put it away in the freezer. So I no longer had the stuff to show you in the packages of where I got it from. So um, if you, you know, just bear with it. Um, it does pop back into focus rather quickly. It's just that it does go blurry a few times um, on and off just constantly. And then also I wanted to show the video and I didn't want to scrap it because I wanted you to actually see real life this is what i went to the store and purchased to stock my freezer this is real life how i do carnivore and how i make it work for my family i've mentioned um in a previous video for billy doe meats that i unboxed now, this isn't actually something that I do on a regular. I don't spend this much money um, when I grocery shop. I am almost always a constant ground beef kind of girl, and I'll get steaks every now and again and lamb. Uh, but I wanted to put a good amount of meat in the freezer, especially considering bad weather is you know, probably imminent any day now. And while I can go out and drive in it, I am a northerner. I am from northern Michigan originally. The snow doesn't scare me or bother me. I just prefer not to go out if I don't need to. I'd rather sit here and look at my beautiful view out these windows. So anyways, I hope you give me a little bit of grace. I really appreciate you, you know, just uh, still continuing to watch this video, even though it is going to, to do that. And I just wanted to pop in real quick and tell you that. So so I hope you enjoy this video and I'll catch you on the other side. Hey everyone, it's Katarina from Meat Field Living and I'm back. It is actually the same day as the Billy Dole uh, unboxing, but that video was getting kind of long and I didn't want to keep going. And I apologize, you are going to hear my children. This house is three floors and he is directly above me and he's playing a video game and it doesn't matter how many times I tell him to keep it down, he just does not. So uh, you can probably see there's a lot of stuff stacked here. This, again, I'm going to reiterate that I do not do this kind of shopping on a regular basis. Um, I budgeted out a fair amount of money for when I got here to stock my freezer. I have a freezer in here and I have one in my garage. This is so, again, I don't like to go grocery shopping and stuff a lot. And the nice thing about meat is it freezes and um, I can go ahead and eat on it for the next month or so. Plus, I, again, my daughter, her fiance, and my grandbabies live just down the street from me now. And so we're going to be doing more family dinners and stuff. So I needed to have a little more food than I would normally eat. Also, holidays are coming up and I have company coming in from out of town. So don't look at this and think, holy schmoles, she has a lot of food for one person. Uh, it, there, there is, yes, but there's a reason. Now, there are several different stores here. There's Costco, King Supers, and Walmart. Um, and some of them I, I froze already because I actually did this grocery shopping the other day. Um, so there's actually, like I had already cut up um, a package of pork chops um, I keep trying pork chops. I don't know why. I'm a glutton. 
for punishment, I guess, um, I breaded them in pork panko and air fried them on a recipe that I found online and they were like bricks. So I don't know why I keep buying pork. Um, I don't know why I keep doing it over and over and over again because you're going to see I did it again over here. Uh, I think it's maybe uh, because my husband loves pork and he always wanted me to cook it and it's just a habit to buy it. And now he's not here, so I, <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, that's another story. So we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to start and I'll tell you where I got it from. And um, some of this you may not do. If you don't do this on carnivore, don't come at me. These are things that work for me. I have a cut out dairy, added dairy, cut out dairy, added dairy, and I now know how much I can have before it starts to affect me. Um, I am still actively losing weight. So yes, you will see some dairy in here, um, but I, I, I know. So, and you're also going to see some other stuff that you may say is not you know, strictly good for the carnivore diet, but it's working for me. So this is just a quick video to show you what I'm stocking my house with in one large fell swoop. So I'll start out, I got this from Costco. This is a ginormous thing of Philadelphia cream cheese. Now I don't eat a lot of cream cheese, but uh, Thanksgiving's coming up. I wanna make a keto or carnivore cheesecake for uh, dessert. Um, I also had um, started making a couple other things with some cream cheese in it. So uh, it just made more sense to buy this big, huge box because I am going to be using it. And I'll just set that there for now. Uh, this guy right here, and I know these are not spectacularly great. There is sugar in these. I ate these only the first day that we moved in here because I got this bag of sausage patties for the kids and my husband when he was here helping us move, and I did eat a couple of them. And just to check, I did check my glucose and my uh, ketones. It didn't affect me at all. I wouldn't necessarily recommend something like this, but my kids wanted some sausage and I wanted to make them breakfast. So I was able to have a couple of these. Again, not a giant recommendation, but Walmart. I got these from Walmart. These are Foster Farms grilled strips. It is actually very clean. It is just chicken breast and it's got uh, a very small amount of food starch and salt. Um, again, it's not something that I would eat on a regular basis, but again, we were moving and we needed something quick and fast, and this was very quick and easy for um, the kids to heat up or, or make. And again, in a pinch, this would work. I'll just kind of stack stuff there for now. Um, Heavy cream and half and half. And unfortunately, for, this one has uh, just organic grade A cream. And then I don't know how to say this, gelum, gelum, gelum gum. Um, and then of course, half and half. I do sometimes add a little of this into my coffee, one or the other. Uh, like I told you, I've gotten really good at knowing how much I can have before it starts affecting me. And so I just keep the small ones on hand. These big bad boys right here is cheese, and this came from Costco, and it is a lot of cheese, I am aware, but I uh, make, I'm going to sadly miss my Blackstone because I left that with my husband, but I make cheese tortillas out of this or cheese taco shells out of this, and I make my own cheese bites out of this. Um, also, the kids like to put cheese on all of their stuff. Uh, because of the taco shells, take a whole bag themselves. I just got a double bag from Costco. Um, again, and if you're doing cheese or dairy, that's good. Uh, it's better if you can shred it yourself because there's not the, the stuff that's in them, but your girl cannot. She does not have time right now. Um, I got three things of organic ground beef from Costco. I only got three because this is 85.15, and I'm going to be honest with you, I prefer the 73 um, whatever, because I like it to be more fatty. I also didn't see, I mean, maybe Costco doesn't have the chubs. I like the chubs. I cut it all up. I flatten it down really flat and nice and it uh, stores better because I don't have the deep freeze here like I had, uh, in Texas. So I just got three of these, but again, it's great for when you need ground beef. Then I got, this guy's already frozen. Um, 
I wanted Picanha. I can't find Picanha here yet. I can't find it anywhere. I found it in Texas and it was my all time favorite. Um, but um, I did want something delicious and unfortunately very expensive. Uh, this is just a prime rib. Uh, don't, it's very pricey. Um, I already froze it. This is actually going to be, it was, it was on sale. So I grabbed it. There's a bunch of bunnies in the backyard. <laughs> Sorry. I grabbed it because I have Christmas dinner coming up and prime rib is very expensive. And so I grabbed it while it was on sale. And again, like I said, I've froze up some of this stuff already. These guys are three packs of beef short ribs I got from Costco. They look like they were very expensive, $43. Um, Meat is crazy expensive, but it's still not as expensive as when I was a vegan. Uh, I like these. I like these a lot. So um, I got that pack, three of them. Uh, I normally buy my cooked bacon from Sam's Club. I didn't go to Sam's Club this time. I actually went to Costco because in Texas, they have the big bags of the bean burgers, which it sounds hilarious, but one of my boys is still eats that way. And he loves these specific uh, bean burgers and they had them in the bags there, but this Costco didn't. So I could have gone to Sam's Club, but this was fine. But I always buy fully cooked bacon. I always keep it on hand, um, even though I buy a lot of bacon because it's just convenient. Um, this is from King Supers. This is... I thought there was more. I had picked up a couple things of the lower sodium bacon. I don't worry about my sodium. It's because there's no sugar in the lower sodium. So that's why I grabbed those. I got that, but then I got a four pack from, is it four, one, two, four pack from Costco. Again, I got the lower sodium because the lower sodium doesn't have any sugar. So not worrying about my salt intake. It's just that that's, I prefer not to have the sugar. Uh, one of the things that I had mentioned in some of my previous videos is that I wanted to start adding more seafood to my diet for the omega-3s and, um, you know, it's just, it's good for you. Uh, I prefer salmon to anything else. Uh, this bag of salmon I had actually got from King Supers the day, the, like the couple day or so after we got here, I wanted some salmon and this is all I could find that, that was, you know, Atlantic salmon. Uh, this one's Norwegian farmed. I prefer wild caught, but that's what they had. Uh, then when I went to Costco, I did find what I actually like. Um, the wild caught salmon. I got a big bag of it. It'll probably take me a while to eat that because I think I'm the only one in the house that does. Uh, but again, that one came from Costco. I always keep a box of steakums. This is 100% beef. I salt it up. It's it's really, I work from home and sometimes I just, I'm very, very busy in my job. And so sometimes I need something quick. I can throw these in the skillet and um, it's great. Now, prior to ordering my lamb from Billy Doe, I had actually picked up a couple um, from lamb from... King Supers. Now this is from, I believe it's New Zealand. Um, but so this one's going to be a little bit more gamey than, uh, the one that you get from Billy Dole. But I did pick up a little small, uh, rack of, I think, what are these called? French, maybe, you know, I'd be lying to you. I have no idea, but I picked up a small rack and then this little right here, this is just a small lamb leg roast. I'll make one of these in the pressure cooker and I'll eat on it for a couple days. Um, I'll get you that in just a second. So this is pork belly. I'd actually got two of these from Costco, but, uh, I already cut one up <laughs> and I've been eating on it. I cut it in chunks. I air fry it. Sometimes I even deep, uh, put it in a pan and cook it in its own grease. And, uh, I love pork belly. It is by far and wide the best pork for me. Now this guy right here is a beef chuck pot roast. Um, it was reduced. It was, it's frozen. So, um, I like to do these in, uh, uh, what do you call it? A pressure cooker or a slow cooker, either one. And then I had gotten a couple of these things of these pork chops that gets frozen. I don't know why I'm a glutton for punishment, I guess. Uh, I picked up some pork chops. And then these guys right here are some beef top sirloin family pack New York strip steak boneless. Now, I don't know if I like New York strip steak. I typically get ribeye, but it was on sale. It's still very expensive. This came from King Supers. The pork chops came from King Supers. And so did this uh, roast right here. I got that from King Supers. 
Now, a couple other things that I buy, um, a lot of pepperoni. No pepperoni is not spectacular for you, but my kids like to make little pizzas. They go through a fair amount of pepperoni. And I actually discovered that if I put cheese down on um, the griddle and a little Italian seasoning with some pepperoni, it tastes like pizza. It's delicious. Um, I always get a big thing of grated Parmesan cheese. I use the heck out of this. If I can get fresh Parmesan, it's better, but this works really great in my meatballs, my lamb and uh, beef meatballs. Then I got some Polish sausage. This came from uh, Costco. Again, these are relatively clean. Uh, they just have the grass-fed beef water and then sea salt, vinegar, paprika, celery powder, garlic powder, and cherry powder. So actually very clean. Um, their Polish sausage is just for something a little different because sometimes, you, you know, sometimes I get bored. And again, back to lamb. You'll see a, a lamb is my favorite thing here. This one is from Australia. Uh, again, I got two packs. This was before my Billy Dole. Uh, I got two packs of these little butterfly, I guess, I don't know what you call those, those butterfly chops. Just lamb rib roast to rack. I bought a couple of those because my daughter likes it too and she's coming over. And then this, I don't know why I did this and I'm gonna actually cut this up. I'm gonna do a video here again on meal prep and how I cut all this up and put it away for the freezer. But <laughs> I got this big giant pork, boneless pork loin. And what I do is I cut it up. I cut it into chops and I freeze it just like I will do, like I do with this pork belly. But this is, I'm gonna eat so I don't have to freeze that one. And then these two guys, again, uh, you're going to notice like a thing here. This came from Costco. And again, this was before I got my Billy Dole order in. Because the Billy Dole, I thought, was going to take a couple weeks because it had said that they had a, a turnaround time for the holidays. So I picked up some lamb to eat in the meantime. And the, the Billy Dole came in two days. It was so fast. But this is, again, some imported Australian lamb chops. And finally, the my most favorite thing, is it finally? No, one more thing. My most favorite thing, a giant, thick, huge ribeyes. Now, these are ridiculously priced. Um, I love ribeye. It is my absolute favorite. But because of the price, I just can't do it that often. This came from... Did this come from King's? Oh, this came from Costco as well. These things are huge. I don't know if you can see how thick those are. They're they're at least two inches, maybe more. And then finally, I normally get these uh, from like Costco or Sam's Club, a big thing of eggs. If I can get the brown or the organic, I do. Uh, these came from King Supers. This is what they had um, in this size. I eat a lot of eggs. So this right here, it is a lot. It is a very lot, but this is stocking up my freezer. Um, I'm going to do another video here soon where I separate everything, actually probably right behind this one, where I separate everything into individual size portions and what I need to do for me so that, you know, because I don't want to like thaw out the whole thing of the lamb chops when I'm not going to eat all these. So I'll do that here next. Um, I might probably just do it right now. But in any case, I really thank you for tuning in. Um, again, I have said this a couple times already. This is not my normal um, grocery thing. Um, this is me stocking up a new house, a new kitchen. Um, I want to keep my, especially because winter's coming. <laughs> Oh, was that Game of Thrones? Winter's coming. Uh, winter's coming uh, here in Colorado. And matter of fact, it has already snowed once. There's no snow right now. But that way I don't have to really go out that much. I mean, I, I have a Jeep. I can go out in the snow. But I don't like to. I love the snow. I just don't like to be out in it, uh, driving in it. So anyways, this will get me and the kiddos by for a, for a while. And also, I did buy a bunch of other stuff for them, too. You know, I bought all of their food. But um, I do thank you so much for tuning in and kind of seeing what I do when I need to stock a whole new kitchen, a whole new empty freezer. Um, if you are new here, thank you so much for tuning in. I really hope that you'll consider subscribing. Uh, if you are not new, I thank you very much for coming back and watching another one of my videos. And please, please, please like, comment, share. Definitely comment. I love the comments. I say this every single time. I try to read them all. I try to respond to them all. Um, uh, sometimes I can't, but I do try. And um, I'm just really, really, really appreciative of all of you. So until next time, eat your meat.
All right, well, now that that's over with, I hope it wasn't nearly as bad as it seemed like to me. I know we're always our biggest critics, and I drive myself nuts when I'm looking at the video and I'm moving side to side. Uh, I do that normally, even when I do stand. I don't know if it's a throwback to when I racked my babies all the time when I held them, or if it is my ADHD or what it is, but unfortunately it is a, a thing that I do and I try very hard to not do that um, when I'm standing on camera, but I, I, I was tired. It had been a long day. Also, like I said, I do really, really apologize for the camera going in and out. I, I'm going to do a little bit of research and find out why it is doing that. If you do watch my videos, you know that I am not a professional YouTuber. I am not a professional photographer or videographer or, well, frankly, even a video editor. So I, again, I'm doing all of this because I'm trying to get the word out from a completely novice, completely, you know, average, run-of-the-mill kind of person uh, that is going through this carnivore journey, trying to heal myself and my, you know, my wellness, my mental wellness and everything. So anyways, I just, again, um, just wanted to say thank you if you stuck it out for this video and I hope that you won't have to do that again. I really, really appreciate you though and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.